Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today we're making snow crab cocktail with avocado and tomatoes. And it's a new restaurant here in Zurich called Brasserie Süd, and they serve this as a starter, and I just love this dish. So I'm, I've tried to recreate it. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're making, from the tomatoes, we're making a tomato jam and it's layered, so tomato jam, then we have put avocado cream and then on top of that goes the snow crab cocktail. Um, it's not a proper cocktail, it's made with sriracha, so it has a bit of a heat to it. But before we get into all of that and before we have a look at the board, as always, if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon. Checking the bell icon will give you notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is live. But now let's have a look at the board. As you can see, there's not many ingredients here, but we're kind of looking at it step by step. So what we have is our crab, the co crab cocktail. We have our avocado cream and we have our tomato jam. We have some roe, in this case it's pike perch. I chose pike perch because it's quite small and has a nice kind of small pop to it. We have some dill and we have some radishes. But let's first have a look at how we did the tomato jam. Main thing for tomato jam, obviously tomatoes and sugar. You need tomatoes and sugar. Um, as aromatics, we are adding lime juice, ginger and star anise. And we need some salt as well. But the first thing we need to do is to prep the tomatoes. Now, depending on the size of your tomatoes, these are relatively small. These ones we're just going to split twice, so into quarts. Uh, we take off the end, and that's basically it. So split your tomatoes, whichever size. And you don't have to worry about taking the skin off. That will kind of dissolve in the sauce as well. I'm going to cook this for a while. I'll see you in a bit. We're done with the tomatoes. The next thing we have to do is to weigh them so that we know how much sugar we need. So I zeroed this out before, and it's 957 grams. So 957, and I like to take 30% of that in sugar. So we need 287 grams of sugar. Zero this out. And there we are. And the next thing we need is our aromatics. You can just put in the store anise. And for the ginger, we grate it. You don't need to peel it. And we need about almost two tablespoons. I would say we're there. And last but not least, juice of two limes. Now, again, as always, when cooking, you know, you can, if you prefer lemons or yuzu or bergamot, uh, some other kind of citrus fruit or vinegar, you can use that. Uh, for this, I prefer limes, but it's just about getting acidity into the dish. So whatever you personally prefer works just as well. And the same with the, with the aromatics, right? I use star anise for this one. But you can use anything. You can put some chili in there. You can put a bit of garlic in there. You can put other spices, coriander, cloves, whatever you feel like. So there we are. And just for good measure, we had a, or two generous pinches of salt. We can always add salt later. And now it's time to move over to the stove. To start it, we put it on quite high heat just to get the heat in there and then we'll turn it down to a simmer. It's come to a boil and we're gonna turn it down. You can already see how it's slowly breaking down. And this is about the amount of boiling we want. I have it on uh, five out of nine because we want this to reduce and we want it to become sticky and nice. That would take at least an hour, probably an hour and a half. Now we've been going for an hour, 
And this is a good sign when you kind of can make tracks in it and they don't fill up straight away. If you want this finer, you could now blitz it if you want. But I, I like to have a bit of structure in it. I like to have the tomatoes. So there's two options you have. Either cut them smaller from the beginning or blitz them now with a mixer. So we can take out the store anise. Let's give this a try. Perfect. We have enough sourness there from the lime juice. Saltiness as well. So all that's left now is to let this cool. And there we have our tomato jam. Not difficult at all. And you can keep it. I mean, I make quite a lot and this is great for so many things. Next up, our avocado cream. All the ingredients for our very simple avocado cream, avocado, lime, and salt. We're gonna put everything into this bowl here. So split your avocados first. I'll show you one and then you can do the rest yourself. The easiest way is to use the heel of the knife, put it in and turn like that. And then we just scoop it out with a spoon. So do that with all of your avocado. Now all we need to do is to put some lime juice in there. You can also use lemon juice. So since we used lime juice for the tomato jam, we'll use it here as well. We'll start with one and we'll also put a, a good pinch of salt in. Two. And now in there with your mixer. There we are. It's quite nice and smooth. Now get ready to clean up your mixer and then we'll give it a taste and add some more salt or some more lime juice if you need it. So I could already taste it on my finger. That needs a bit more lime juice and more salt. So now we put a full lime in total and four good pinches of salt. Now if you're worried and want it perfectly smooth, you could put this through a net as well. But I think this is perfectly fine. Give this another try. Excellent. Pop it in the fridge and then you're good to continue. Again, it's very simple. It's kept relatively neutral in taste, just a little bit of lime juice and some salt, and the rest is just avocado flavor. And last but not least, let's have a look at how we did the crab, snow crab cocktail. So we have a crab, some mayonnaise, sriracha, a bit of cognac, a lime, and some salt. Now it's not a classical cocktail sauce, since we're doing it with sriracha, but I like this little bit of heat. We put the crab in. Now we don't want this too mayonnaise -y. So I would say we put one, two, three, four tablespoons in. Two teaspoons of sriracha. A dash of cognac, maybe a teaspoon. And for our lime, we'll start with half a lime. And some base salt, a good pinch. And now we mix this. And again, this was frozen crab. So when you thaw it, you need to really squeeze out all of the liquid, because otherwise it would just be too liquid and the liquid is not that amazing. Give this a try. It has enough sourness. We'll add a little bit more heat, another teaspoon. 
and another pinch of salt. I actually add a bit of white pepper. Mix this up again. Give it another try. That's perfect. You can keep this in the fridge as well. And we continue. So those are kind of our three main ingredients that we've done now. Obviously, we looked at it kind of sequential, but what you can do is while you make the tomato jam, you can finish these two as well. So it doesn't mean that you kind of have to do one after the other. Like that, it goes quicker to cook it. And they keep quite well in the fridge. Now, the only thing we need to do before we plate up is we need to cut our radishes and pick our dill. So we'll do that quickly. And it's really simple. Our radishes, we're just slicing up relatively thinly, like this. And you see, I have a container of ice cold water, and that just gives them a bit of crunch before we serve them. So you don't have to do that, but it's nice. So cut up your radishes. And for our dill, we're just kind of picking quite big pieces. And that's all the prep um, we have to do before we can serve. Do your second dill and then let's serve this up. So we're going to do this with one of these rings. But before we start plating this up, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode because you stuck with me this long. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you a second, but it's worth a whole lot to me because that helps me get my content out there in the YouTube universe. But let's serve this up now. At the bottom, we start with our jam. Flatten it out a bit. And on top of that comes our avocado cream. We flatten that out as well. Now this is kind of liquid, so I'm not sure it's gonna stay, but let's see. And last but not least, our crab. Try not spilling it like I did. Press down a little bit. And now for our roll, just spread it out a bit. It doesn't have to cover everything. Or something like that. And last but not least, our radishes. And our dill. And I will lift this and hopefully it stays. And now let's dig in before it all falls apart. 
Now, the perfect way of eating this, I'm not doing it now, but you know, make a kick-ass sourdough bread. I'll leave the recipe up there. A slice of that sourdough bread, but we're just kind of going into it with knife and fork. This is to die for. Mm. Uh, obviously, I can't take credit for this. I didn't come up with the dish. But I did a pretty good job in recreating it. Mm. It has everything you want. It's savory. It's sweet. It has a sourness to it. There's a crunch there from the radishes. Mm. And the tomato jam. Bah. Mm. This is incredibly good. Now this is quite big. This could even be kind of enough for uh, a main course. Especially with bread going with it, right? So you could use a smaller ring, or you could use the same kind of ring, but do thinner layers. I'm really glad it stayed up. I thought it would go a bit like that, because obviously we didn't have any gelatine or anything in the tomato jam. So it's just keeping together from the sugar, you can say. But that's it. That's our snow crab cocktail with avocado and tomatoes. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment if you did. Or even leave a comment if you didn't enjoy it. I'm always thankful for feedback. And the last thing, as always, if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon. Take care. Bye-bye.